This video is going to be showing how to connect um, your S1000R 2014 and up or a double R I believe. You'll need a OBD scanner, typically one for a car, as long as the scanner can read and write long messages. It's kind of confusing. Um, when you go to buy them, they should say it like if you buy it on Amazon. This is the OBD Link LX and I know for a fact this one works. The way the bike's CAN system works is it has to be able to communicate over a long period of time so that it can write the long message for being able to do any coding um, or resetting the date, anything like that. Um, I know a lot of people want to do just to reset their service, but the um, the app that you use called Motoscan actually does a lot more than just resetting the date. So first step would obviously be um, locating your diagnostic plug. Um, on the S1000R and the S1000RR, it's just underneath the seat here. I know in a lot of other um, BMWs, they have it around like here somewhere on the side. The connector essentially just looks like this. It'll have a cap like this on it that you just twist right off. Um, and then this guy should be tucked right back back in there. So if you're, if you're jumping into this and you really have no idea what you're looking for, this is where it's gonna be located and that's what it's gonna look like. And I'll leave a link in the description. You can buy a cable for this and it will essentially convert this from your BMW OBD connector, or I should say diagnostic connector, to the OBD scanner that you have. Um, I actually had an issue with mine where it jumped it to the K line instead of the CAN bus line, um, and it ended up not reading, and I was getting all frustrated, and I ended up finding out that it wasn't on the right wire, so I made my own. If you ended up buying a cable um, for this, then you can just disregard this whole next step. If you don't want to buy the harness, then this is the way to go. Um, a little sketchy, but as long as you're making sure your connections aren't touching, you should be fine. Um, so essentially what you're doing is you're taking the OBD link and you want to go for this pin out here. The pin outs that you're going to be going for is your 12 volt hot your ground for the OBD and then your CAN bus high and your CAN bus low. Um, I'll sh have a better representation and I'll put a link in the description for a picture showing exactly which one you need to go into if that's confusing. Um, and then you're going to be jumping on the S1000Rs um, 2014 and up, obviously because it's the only years they made it. Um, this is what you're going to be looking for. You want your pin number four, six, seven, and nine. Um, pin number four for your ground is going to be this guy right here. Um, this is going to be your 12 volt hot, and then this is going to be your CAN bus high and your CAN bus low. Um, if it gets confusing, high and low just because it's above and below. Um, but these are the ones you're going to want to tap into. One thing to note that if you're doing this without a cable and if you're using something like this, the 12 volt on the R's and the double R's always runs hot. So I'd recommend just plugging that in last and making sure all the other connections are in and that they're not touching any of the other connections in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this connected up here and then I will show you where to go from there. All right, so jumping over to the app here, when you open it, it's gonna look something like this, obviously without the picture here that I have. Um, with the light version of this app, you get the feature of being able to connect to the bike, clearing any check engine lights, checking any code you have, and resetting the service state. It will not let you code, it will not let you do anything else until you buy more and more of the, um, the app. So once you get the app going, you want to jump into your settings here, um, go up to your connections, and then right here yours should probably be blank. If it shows up, that's awesome. Um, if not, um, you need to go in this list and you need to select whatever your adapter is. If you're still not connected to that, um, obviously go to your settings up here in your Bluetooth and connect to that. Um, do whatever you need to connect to that. Then once you have that, just go to this list and um, select it. Mine is right here. So I just select that and then I have it connected here. Um, and then the rest of the stuff you really don't need to mess with unless this isn't set on Bluetooth. Make sure it's set on Bluetooth. Unless you have a Wi-Fi um, OBD adapter, which I doubt you do, but if you do, select that. Um, then once you go into the app, select your bike series. They have a long list of all the different types of series for the models. Um, they even do Husqvarna's. Um, for the S1000 R's or double R's, you want to go to the S series because S 
um, and then the K47 is the single R. Or if you have the double R, you want to go um, to the K46, and I believe K46 MU2 is the older years, um, but go into the K47. So you want to go into your engine electronics, and then it's going to scan here for a little bit. It's going to try to find the interface. You just got to give it time to do its thing. And then it should say connected at the bottom. Um, so jumping into here, Oh, yeah. Also, don't be a moron and forget to turn on your bike. <laughs> Make sure you have your bike turned on when you're trying to connect to it. Um, just put it on ignition, don't start it. Comb B is what you want to go to if you want to reset your code so the instruments cluster here. Um, once you connect to that, it'll show you like some other stuff. Like, I, I think everyone shows you it's VIN, but you go up here and you read some of the trouble codes it'll show you some other ones like mine shows a rear code light because I have a integrated turn signal um, so I'll just clear that and then if I read it, it doesn't show up and then if you go to your service reset it'll show you your mileage um, the date the motorcycle was the date that the motorcycle was reading like today's date so if you need to reset that, you do set current motorcycle date. Um, and then you should be able to have your service set correctly because obviously if your bike's reading that it's September 2030, um, probably does you no good if like today's the 9th of July. Um, and then you go down here, you have your service reminder. I'm not gonna mess with mine because I have it set per like my actual service. Um, but if you need to reset it for mileage, so like once you reach a certain mileage, you can set how many miles you want it to reset at. Um, and then you click on reset and it'll reset it for you. Or you can do it per a specific date once it reaches it. So, you know, if today's August 10th, once you reach November 10th, the service light will go off or go on. Um, and then you'll know that you need a service. Your engine diagnostics. And then this is going to show you, I mean, you can go to identification, it's going to show you some other stuff. It'll show you your VIN, your serial number, um, and then exactly what it's called. The DME is what BMW calls it. Um, you can read your trouble codes right here and it'll show you your codes. The app has like specific codes for the codes it's <laughs> and codeception, but um, it'll explain it here to it. And then if you click on it, it'll show you some more details for it. If you want to clear the codes, you just clear trouble codes and then it should clear them. I'm getting trouble codes for my oxygen sensors because they have them unplugged for um, for Bazaz unit. And then my exhaust flap is uninstalled because I have an aftermarket exhaust. Um, some of the modules here, if your bike does not support it, it won't show up. So I like there's some things that the developer said he was working on. Um, the semi-active suspension, mine does have that. Um, keyless ride, technically all bikes have that. Some things might show up on the list that you don't have, so like the uh, TPM telematic platform module, don't even know what that is, but it doesn't show up. It'll just say that it couldn't connect to the unit. Um, high pressure control, my bike doesn't have that. Um, mine does have ESA. I don't know why that's not showing up, but there's some stuff that like doesn't show up. Like mine doesn't have the anti-theft alarm system. That doesn't show up. Um, I think I almost forgot. If you go over to your engine electronics um, and you go down to live data, it'll show you some data like um, your AIT temperature, or yeah, air intake temperature. Um, it'll show you your ADC voltage, like some other random stuff. Um, your engine temperature. But if you go to add parameters, there is like, <laughs> This is three of uh, 112. There's so many parameters you can add. Basically just sensors that are on the bike that you can read. Like, just for example, there's engine oil temperature in degrees Celsius, rear wheel speed from the ABS CAN message, front wheel speed of the ABS, German stuff, electric fuel pump, secondary air valve, whether it's on or off, position of the exhaust plate, there's so much. Um, 
and the list just goes on and 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 you get the idea um, but they're separated by um, different there's function states and that has like it's there's some of its own sensors in there like I won't go over everything but I'm sure you can read but there's inputs I'm sure you some stuff like your oxygen sensors your idle of the motor whatever that means um, full load of the motor crankshaft degrees some crazy stuff um, some outputs like your ASC lamp which is like your button that shows up on the corner here when they're active right there all you have to do to turn it on and off is click on it and it should light up green right there and then you click on it again obviously turn it off so let's just add a few things here and then go back to live data it shows them down here so obviously it's mine's not going to show it um, until you start the bike but it'll show all the data and then right here where like the little slashes are it'll show up like the actual lifetime data so there's a lot of actual sensors that the bike can read it just doesn't let you mess with them for the most part it doesn't let you code them I know on some of the other bikes besides the S1000s um, whether it's the single R or the double R if you go to the engine electronics down here it will say coding but it I know for a fact that the developer said that he does not have that yet, so he will be releasing sometime in the near future, hopefully. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the app. Um, doesn't really show you too much other stuff. Um, once you're done with it, you can just go and flick off your bike. If you need to check that the service light went off, just turn it back on, and then your service light shouldn't show up. Mine's obviously not showing up because I don't have it set, but if you do, that's all you have to do is reset it um, in the app and then go over here, turn off your ignition, and then turn it back on, and it should be all good for you. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know.